Hello everyone, I figure with the daily demands of server life with so many people um, asking you for help all the time, you need to do something to kind of make sure it doesn't stress you out. So right now I've just created a small little farm for this guy with wolves, ocelots, and mushrooms. Why? Well, he's a nice guy and he asked for it really nicely so I figured, hey, you know what, here's something fun, let's help him build something. Especially since I'm sort of sad that players are running around killing things like villagers. I mean, hopefully he'll, uh, he won't have that problem. Like, Awesome Adam over here, who's just had his, um... Awesome Adam. Can I type in his name right? Yes, I can. Oh, he's here somewhere. I just don't see him. Oh, okay. Where was the villager? I'll go help Caden with his grief in just a minute. Awesome Adam just had his uh, librarian murdered brutally. Of course, we can't fix this at all. So the best thing I can do is just hopefully spawn him a new librarian. However, villager professions, when you spawn them, are completely random. So maybe I'll just... Well, even if I put up a new one, it'll just get murdered again. So what I should do is just put them in here, maybe near the cocoa beans. So, that's a, uh, it's not a librarian. You are something else. You are the same thing again. Uh, okay. Liber... You're a blacksmith, and those other three guys are very profession-oriented, aren't you? Not what I wanted. Come on. There's a librarian. Okay, great. Enjoy. Uh, of course, now everybody wants one, but... Well, if you have a place for one... Sure. But remember, players may kill them, and then there's not I can do. Nah, the eggs be worth too much. I You gotta keep in mind here, players will always want items from admins. Why? Because, well, they realize that, um, ridiculous stuff is ridiculous. <laughs> I know what you mean, buddy. Alright, so here you are at Caden's house, and we'll figure out, yeah, he got grief. PS info, is it, it's protected by Caden. Um, hmm, wait a minute. Is this his house, really? Oh, it's protected by Moss Cobble. Okay, so Moss Cobble does three. So maybe that side was not in protection. That's fine, though. Let's go, uh, let's go check uh, who did it, because Log Block is great. It tells me mustache penguin. Where must it also tells me that Nate Dog actually created this house, but that really doesn't uh, matter really. Area ten since three days. Or slash yes. Is all I need to type in, and it will fix the grief. It was mustache penguin. Oh, and right here, and Linus Banan. That'll be rollback player Linus Banan. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Area ten since three days. I typed that in wrong. Oh, he only did four blocks anyway, so I'll ignore him. They're known for griefing, are they? Well, Linus only did four, and Penguin only did 19. That's not a lot. I, I say when you're griefing, if you do, like, you know, 12 blocks, it, it really isn't enough to ban people. So, I mean, unless I find more from them, eh, it's 
not enough to really ban them, though. Especially since this house is just cobbling wood planks. I mean, if it was something else. But, uh. Anyway, have fun. <laughs> this was a nice little quiet request, you know. Here's a nice little house, got a bit broken, need your help. You know. Lately, as the admin on here, when things go wrong, like I showed you, like people getting stuck in global chat, which has happened here a lot too, uh, usually they just yell and scream at the admin, I need help, get me out of it, a whole lot, and they don't understand that, you know, I'm here to help people, but I don't necessarily have all the answers. Which I guess doesn't make sense for the players, because players will always assume that admins know everything. They somehow think we're super people, you know? Not that we were once players like them, or like, we're still players like them. Uh, so, keep in mind, not only will they try to get things from you, but... Oh, didn't I already do 1426? I did. 1426. Uh, fixed. Yeah, that was easy. Shadow Ranger just broke some... Broke some blocks, and... I banned him two days. If you get griefed, it's important not to fix the house again, so whenever the staff member teleports to you, he'll know exactly what got broken. Otherwise, you know, if you fix the house again, it's just a matter of guessing where to check, so it'll just speed things up if, uh, if you don't fix the house again. It might encourage maybe other griefers in a way, but hey, if you can hopefully get uh, a staff member quickly, it'll be better for you. How do you protect some land with you and your friends? That's uh, an easy request. Do PS allow all friend name here and uh, and add them to glowstone. Ah, I'm feeling a little bit better right now, guys. I tried making an HC Craft episode the other day, but being me means everybody messages me at once, and I tell you, that gives me a massive headache after a while. Right now, you know, a little. It, it might be funny that lots of mod requests are simply things that you could ask other people. Like, other people might know what the command to add people are. 1433 says, ban A3. <laughs> Well, Spio, I, I actually had to give you a four-day ban for griefing a thousand blocks of A31's house earlier. And I don't know how you did it without his house being, with his house being protected. I'll have to look into that. So, uh, let's see here. Done, 1433. Can't, uh, ban scammers without proof. Sorry. And, mess... He ponies rock. Uh, he says, "Guy gave him one gunpowder for ten diamonds. I gave him two gunpowder, and he only gave me five. Well, there's really no way I can prove that. Sorry. Honestly, I mean, if I go over there, it's his word against his word, and I can't really say who's on top." I mean, in a perfect world, anybody can check the chat logs, but think of this server and everybody talking at once. Not only is that pretty much impossible for the people that can check, but the only people that can check right now are the super admins. I could name them off, but it doesn't really matter. The point is, I can't do it. <laughs> and that, I think even if I can do it, we wouldn't do it for something so silly as five diamonds. Uh, just because of so many other things going on. If I can't see someone in PvP, is it alright if I warp home? Uh, done 1421. Uh, sounds okay to me. PvP logging is a big issue on every server out there because people will complain all the time about it. They'll be like, I was fighting with this guy and he logged out. You know, it's against the rules. Well, we have to say it's against the rules because otherwise everyone will do it, right? But how do you police such a thing? If as soon as you tell people that it's against the rules, how do you fix it? One moment, Auntie Paula seems to be spamming. A lot, so I'll give Auntie Paula six days, because I feel like it. Now then, <clears throat> to 
get out of this, we'll go back to PvP. We'll clear our inventory, and we'll just look around. Actually, I Iron Sword 1. People might not kill me just because of who I am, hopefully, and I'll be able to look around. Otherwise, well, I'll probably die very, very soon. And PvP spawns me in the water. I don't really know why that is. I don't think this water is supposed to be here, is it? It might. I really don't know. Let's just go over here. And stab Blue Girl. My point is, if somebody logs out in the middle of combat... Ooh, wow. Well, it doesn't matter. Wait a minute, how did Blue Girl... Uh, maybe she only got the first hit? Oh, yes, she did. There was a guy with diamond armor running on the screen right there. For a moment, I was like, oh, man, that person hacked. But really, there was just a guy behind me at the time. Who knows, maybe that's where one of the, uh... One of those hacking, uh... You know, people might think that person was hacking. Oh, my God, they did a fire damage and eight hearts with a fist. But really, somebody came up behind me and I died. There wasn't anything I could do about it. Hacking and logging in PvP. Biggest issues you'll ever hear about, probably, if there's PvP on a server. But keep in mind that if you don't have PvP on a server, like there's no PvP arena, or the server itself isn't PvP, you'll probably lose a lot of players because PvP is another aspect of the game that everybody wants to do. So how do you deal with it? Well, really, what players will want you to do is stand there and watch them play. Which, if you think about it, staff helping people in a way does mean that they don't play the game anymore because they can't build because everybody wants help from them but having them stand and watch them play pvp is even worse because not only are you not really helping people but you're not even taking part in the game at all like here you help people build if you want to help people pvp there's just nothing to it it's the most boring thing in the world no i don't want to do that but it's what they'll want you to do hmm isn't letting me live in to keep selling free stuff then burns me. Done, 1435. Lucky doesn't have to, it's his town. And, um... Get a screenshot of him burning you if you can. Let's put it like this. When it comes to Minecraft multiplayer, you have PvP servers and you have PvE servers. This one is PvE, and the other one's PvP, okay? PvP is where people can expect other people to kill them. In player versus environment servers, people just want to run around and build and have fun, right? They don't expect them to suddenly randomly get teleported into an arena and die. They don't pe get, expect people to make traps that will drop them to bedrock. They don't expect people to kill them with flint and steel. These things are aspects of the game that are not um, allowing people to have fun. If people are running around killing everybody else in servers where they're not PvP, it's something you've got to work on. How do we prove it's happening? Well, unless we're there at the time, in which case, you know, message a staff member, but keep in mind that we might be working with somebody at the time. Or not, who knows. Uh, oh, done, 1437, fixed. Yeah, we might be working with someone at the time, or there could be something bigger going on. But hey, we do what we can. I totally just lost that train of thought completely. I hope you know where I was going because I don't. G of Wallace Cow. Um, if he can spawn items, giving them out is against the rules. Please mention this to him. Let's put it like this. What does it mean for a server to have an economy? Well, that means people can put value on items based on what the players think is the value of the items. If people can spawn items and money, though, then the economy just gets totally broken because suddenly people are going to pay you $15 million dollars for any sword that has fire aspect enchantment on it. And that's pretty wacky, isn't it? Can we change this? Well, people donated to get a rank where they can spawn things. Uh, you know, 
So we can't really ban them for it. Well, we will, actually, because... But that's why, right? It'll break the economy terribly. If people are overspending, well, we can't really police that. But if they're giving out free items, then everyone else who joins the game, it's no fun for them. Sure, let's go place one for Lucky. Sure, where at? People usually want lava to be placed for, uh, silly cobblestone generators, or... Oh, he just wants a fountain. Oh. Uh, where is he, though? I don't see him. Is he in the air? On the cobble? Don't want to burn people to death, but, uh, hey, whatever. Okay, so... Oh, oops. That didn't work very well. Like I said, though, I like doing little silly requests rather than big, big ones right now because I've had to hear so much about the big ones forever. And when you do a ship list and you notice, oh, I'm the only staff member online, and you notice on, like, page two, that it, one of the requests is, dude, uh, we need more staff. See right there, 1424. I mean, thank you, uh, Ebony, for saying so, because it's something that everybody actually knows, I think. But I don't really handle staff. I just do what I can, really. So, I'm just happy to kind of take care of little silly ones right now and have fun. <laughs> Especially when everybody messages me for help, like, every time I'm on immediately. Right now on HC Craft, I'd have to say, this is, this is different right now. People aren't messaging me right now, and it just, it feels alright. <laughs> uh, like, I'm, I'm having a good time by doing some silly stuff, so... I'm pretty happy. Oh, wow. Um, my bad, Carson. Apparently, log block doesn't work uh, in PvP. So, by trying to place bedrock, it actually makes me place bedrock on PvP. Well, whoever said that the PvP spawn was griefed was right. Some jerks covered it in water. As I said, water means, well... Are you an admin? Ah, people are so demanding. I just want to get rid of the, um... Get rid of all this water and stuff out of here. First of all, let's get this bedrock out of the way that I accidentally placed. Here. Now then. Where's the rest of this water that somebody's apparently just left in the PvP spawn area? Maybe that was the big stuff, so that's good. I cased. Hmm. Oh, I should clear my inventory first of all and go... Uh, um, I'm poor. We don't give items to people. Sorry. I better go into vanish mode so I'm invisible. And now let's go see if anybody's actually griefed my arena. If you're wondering, yeah, I did make this. There's a video up there where I show you guys what I made in this arena, actually. If you're curious. And this water that I thought was supposed to be here is clearly not, so... Let's, uh, let's get rid of that. Hmm? Okay, so we'll drain tan again. Er, no, that's not right. I don't want to drain the ocean, because if I drain the ocean, it'll be a bit of a pain. So we'll stand here. When you drain water, you need to be right at the corner of it. So drain, uh, eight, maybe. Good. Source block is gone. That takes care of that. Perfect. Because that, obviously, wasn't supposed to be there. And I doubt that this is supposed to be here. GM Creative of FWIP. Alright, here's the problem, boys and girls of the internet. 
People can grief with lava wherever they want, and it won't leave results. Oh, and water, too. Here's the other problem. Clearly, this arena has actually been filled with water. I am not impressed. This is supposed to be lava. This is not supposed to be water. If we have something nice, please don't use it to ruin it for everyone else, because then we'll just get it removed. That's what happened with things like splash potions. That's why they don't work on this server, because people use them to murder people outside of PvP. So now then, time for me to clean up this lovely, nice arena that we've made for everybody. Why would somebody run through and fill it all with water? Because they're jerks. Obviously, that's what it is. So I'm not impressed about that. Especially since I helped build this thing. I'm glad that somebody was nice enough to put in mod request number 1416 and said, Hey, by the way, Fwip, the arena's griefed. Can you fix it? I'm very glad for that. If everyone would just get out of the lava while I put more lava, then uh, that'll be good. Now, I need to make this look prettier. It won't be good. So let's just fill that with lava again. Why is lava good in a PvP arena? I'll explain right now. Ender pearls, man. People want to teleport everywhere. you got to give them some, uh, I don't know, some danger. Not that they'll get away with everything, but... I don't know, the prospect of dying in lava needs to manage out the... Oh, that shouldn't be there. Manage out the uh, urge to just fly everywhere and get away from people. Dangerous fun. It's really fun to drop people into lava, if there's lava to do so. Alright, so, this is supposed to look griefed. That's fine. Let's go check the rest of my arena. That's supposed to be there. Since I built this thing, I know exactly what it should look like. Uh, like this little house with lots and lots of roots to go through wherever you want. I'm not going to need to explain this, though. I did a video on this before. H-Man, if you want to play Hunger Games, like, you can play that somewhere else. <laughs> there are servers specifically for that, but who knows? I know lots of people love it, so, you know. If you do have site suggestions, it's always good to go on our forums. That's one reason they exist for you guys to suggest ideas to people. You might not think many people read them, and I can't really confirm or deny that, but with any luck, they'll help make things happen. So after cleaning up those water and lava spills, it... Oh, no, that's not all. Yeah. Yeah. I've already confirmed that, um... There's no way to really tell who placed the lava and stuff. I just gotta keep wandering around the arena then. It sucks. It sucks because that means somebody ruined some of the nice things that I made. How about my t cool little temple? Is it fine? It's fine. I'm glad. If anything got uh, destroyed, I would be really sad if it was this one. And at the moment, no, I'm not even watching the chat. Does it matter? We have a mod request system for people that do get griefed, so he can put one in later and I'll have to check it out. But as a usual, when people have problems, like they like to complain immediately and without reason. Well, not without reason. They think their reason is the best in the world. Oh man, someone's totally griefed this treehouse. This is what I like to say, upsetting. Go to the top. Yep, two water source blocks in the whole PvP arena is just covered in water. That's lame. That's absolutely lame. Who would do such a thing? I don't know, because if I do I bedrock, guess what? Any results? Nope, I'm just placing bedrock. Doesn't make me feel better about myself. Not by any stretch of the imagination. It's getting a little bit tricky, though, because now I've got to... Oh, no. This part there was supposed to be lava. Ban XX Super CXX for spam advert. There we go. Isn't that lovely? 
like I said, it's important for you to permaban people who obviously don't want to play on your server. For example, spam advertisements, they don't want to be here. They just want to, you know, mess stuff up. Now this is lame, because this here was a hopscotch. Like, this was built to be fun and dangerous. I like how some people are whispering to him, Dude, don't do it. When, clearly, um... <laughs> he's already been banned for it. This is really lame, though. Because now I have to remember what it looked like. I mean, I could say, if we catch you griefing with lava or water, we will ban you for six days. But that doesn't get me much, because, that, you know, this here is still ruined for now. I think at least there was one big area of lava in here, I think. I know there was one jump where you had to make a sprint if you really wanted to get there. That's part of the fun of it, though, it being dangerous, like I explained. Ah, plus that you fall in two blocks deep means you'll die really quickly. Should you actually miss. Oh, over here, we'll put it in like this. That should make it difficult. Like that. That's fine. Now let's fly around and see if they've ruined my PvP arena. I still say it's mine, because this whole section here is what I built, so... If they happen to place lava or water, I'll be upset. Very upset. I think that's supposed to be flowing water there, so it's more difficult for you to swim out of, actually, now that I think about it. But basically, I guess, I might have fixed all of it. I'm hoping. That water's supposed to be there, that water's supposed to be there. Those giant islands that placed by Killer Quill are fine. Yeah, it looks like the rest of this is good. So anyway, again, thanks to whoever put in request 1416. Uh, heckin' Jack. Fixed. Thanks a ton. Yes, you are very glad, or I am very glad that you put this one in. If you ever see anybody again using water or lava, Please immediately tell somebody who's on staff if they're online so that we can catch them in the act because otherwise we can't prove it, unfortunately, at the moment until Logblock probably fixes itself or Bucket does or something. I can't do it. It'll have to be up to them. Until then, though, I'll just be flying around fixing the, uh, the server. I really hope this doesn't happen too much because, again, when it comes to lava grief like you've seen me fix or people spamming that they need me to help them all the time. Those things really make it so this game is no fun for me anymore. When I can just wander around, help people fix things at my own leisure, then it feels fine. Shadow Slayer for language. There we go. Perfect. Alright, well, I believe that's the whole rest of the PvP server fixed. Or not server, but the area fixed. If there's more damage, please let me know. Not in the comments, but like on the server. Let any staff member know and hopefully they'll fix it up for you. It's a kind of upsetting that they can actually do this to us. Because I really like this. Please. Help Flip today be good. Without stuff like this happening. Anyway. I guess I'll go uh, play the very strange version of uh, DDR that I built over here. See you next episode, guys. Laters!